Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. If you are new, then welcome to this channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you some cool, interesting Python tips. So today's tip is all about how to create an iterable of integers. First, let me tell you what is this iterable of integers and what are these iterations, okay? Iterations are nothing but sequence of numbers. By using this iterable of integers, you can get sequential numbers starting from 0 and up to, yeah, the number that you gave as the limit. Like, for example, if you gave for n, n range, of 4. That means the iteration will start from 0. It's gonna print 1 and 2 and 3 and when the interpreter or the program reaches to the number 4, from there it's gonna stop running and it's gonna show as the output. So in this way this iteration exactly works and I think in order to run iterations you guys must know for loop. I hope you guys know for loop and the syntax will be like this. For here you will be giving any variable that actually handles this range. And if you give for n in range of 4 and if you give print n, you'll see how for loop exactly running through this n as output, okay? For example, if you see for n in range of 4 and if you give print n, it's gonna print, it's gonna start from 0 and it's gonna end at 3. And once the number reaches to 4, it will come out of the loop and it will print the output. Okay, let me show you how we can do this. For n in range of 4 just give print n and if you run this one you're gonna see 0 1 2 3 as output yep and yeah 0 1 2 3 it will start at 0 and it's gonna end at 3 and once the number reaches to 4 it will come out of the loop and it will show you the output and you can even set the limits of your numbers by providing two integers like these two integers will set the limits and it also handles the space between the numbers with three integers for example if you give 3 33 10 it will start with 3 and it's gonna give 10 integer space and it will print 13 and next it will print 23 and once it reaches 33 it will come out of the loop and it will print 3 13 23 as output and once the number reaches to 33 it will come out of the loop as i said before here we are actually setting the limit between these series of integers by giving the number as 10 for example the number starts with 2 and ends at for example 12 and after every four integers it will print okay for example if you give two here it will print two plus four is actually six right it will print six and then it will print ten it's gonna end over there because once you add four to that ten integer it's gonna become 14 it's actually exceeding this limit 12 so it will come out of the loop and it will print the output okay let me show you see 2 6 10 it will print 2 it will print 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 4 10 and 10 plus 4 is actually 14 and that is actually exceeding this 12 so it will come out of the loop and it will print the output i hope you guys understood how iterations exactly works in for loop there are actually three parameters one is the starting point and one is the ending point and one is actually the limit that you're giving for which after that much space or that much integers it's gonna print and once it exceeds this ending point it will come out of the loop and it will print and if you don't give all these three if you just give one value here in range function then it will just print it will start from zero it will take zero as the initial point and it will go up to three and once it reaches four it will come out of the loop i hope you understood the difference between these two things and i hope you guys learned something interesting about iterations of integers and yeah i'll be back with one more interesting cool python tip and if you like this video then hit that cute little like button and if you are new to this channel then what are you waiting for just go there and tap on that red button over there so that you'll never miss an update from us see you in the next video